Harry suffer tragic end. Duke exudes miserableness like Edward VIII after regretting marriage with Meg. Following the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and the accession of King Charles III, several titles within the royal family changed. The Cambridges became the Waleses and Prince William inherited his father's former styles, Duchy of Cornwall and Duke of Rothsey. These changes were made clear on the royal family's official website almost immediately, with the line of succession adjusted to reflect the shifts within the monarchy. But while William, Kate, Princess of Wales and their children's titles were altered, the Sussexes' styles remained the same, leading some to question what the future holds for three-year-old Archie and one-year-old Lilibet. According to royal biographer Hugo Vickers, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, shares an uncanny resemblance to his ancestor King Edward VIII, who abdicated the throne in 1936. Both men rocked the royal family in the name of love and married divorced American women. Aside from both marrying American divorcees, Meghan Markle and Wallace Simpson, respectively, Harry, 38, and Edward each seemingly radiate the same sadness, according to an authority. In Vicar's opinion, Harry looks thoroughly miserable in the years following his and Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex's, decision to step down as senior royals in 2020. Similarly, the Duke of Windsor, who had previously been King of England, abdicated the throne in 1936 in order to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson, a union that was opposed by the UK government. Although Edward VIII never admitted regret about his abdication, Mr Vickers claims he had never seen anyone with such sad eyes as the former monarch. I think the reason the Queen always had such sparkling eyes was because she dedicated herself to duty, Mr Vickers said during a speech at the Henley Literary Festival, the Times reported. He alleged that Edward VIII took the path of perceived happiness by marrying Miss Simpson, but in the end it's duty that makes you happy. If you woke him up at 4 a.m. and asked if he had any regrets he would have said no. But if you want to know what he really thought, look at his eyes, the author said. Mr Vickers argued that Prince Harry has also appeared unhappy after giving up his life as a working royal. As for the Duke of Sussex, who knows what's going to happen to him. I think he looks thoroughly miserable, he stated. Vickers isn't alone in his opinion. Royal expert Kinsey Schofield also compared Harry to his great-uncle, telling GB News that the former monarch found he had nothing to do with the rest of his life after abdicating and leaving the royal family. Mr Vickers' remarks came just days after Buckingham Palace released the first official picture of King Charles III with his queen consort, Camilla. By their side stands the Prince of Wales, his eldest son and heir, clearly a good deal taller than Charles and the newly appointed Princess of Wales, his wife. The photograph is brimming with symbolism of course, the new sovereign is pictured with his son and heir, while looming behind them is a glowering portrait of King George III, the longest reigning male monarch in British history. Following Edward's abdication crisis in 1936, Queen Elizabeth II's father, King George VI, became monarch and Edward became the Duke of Windsor, with Simpson as Duchess, and the couple moved to France. Edward was only King of England from January until December that year, a mere 325 days. Edward and Simpson lived a lavish lifestyle following their exile from the royal family, and he died in 1972. Simpson died in 1986 at age 89. The couple stirred even more controversy with a friendly visit to Nazi Germany in 1937, where they spoke with Adolf Hitler.